Hi everyone, just doing my uh, third weekly update and uh, got wet hair. I just came out of the shower and had a bit of a scary experience. I've been having issues with um, the ligaments in my knees and uh, there's been a lot of buckling and it's been kind of scary and painful and I was just in the shower and my knee buckled and I just about fell over and it just got me thinking like, I'm gonna be 40 uh, in July and I kept telling myself I've got all this time to to get the weight issue sorted out and to get healthy and um, when I got pregnant with Casey, uh, she just turned five, when I got pregnant with Casey I um, had lost over 100 pounds and then um, hadn't dealt with any of the, the food addictions that I had, like I mentioned in uh, a couple of the previous videos. And so I gained a lot of weight back when I was pregnant with her. And I kept telling myself and, you know, other other people would always tell me, oh, you, you lost the weight once, you can lose it again. And, and it just, I don't know why it seemed like it was gonna be easy for me. Um, but it definitely wasn't and then I had uh, postpartum and depression with her and have just um, as I've mentioned before struggled ever since then and I I feel in retrospect really terrible about that because um, you know I've I've yo-yo dieted and have lost weight gained weight pretty much my whole life and have been overweight and heavy and never really thought about the the long-term effects that carrying this extra weight was going to have on my body um, in the long term, and so, and I was always just just comfortable enough with myself um, to to not be as driven and motivated as I should have been to to get the excess weight uh, off of myself. Not just to um, to look a certain way, but to feel and be healthier. And to be able to do things with ease and not have it be a struggle. Um, and now I'm to the point where, like my knees, I can't, I can't run. I had been training for that 5K uh, that, that my family did uh, in May, and through training for that um, afterwards, that's really when the the problems kind of resurfaced with my knees. And I, I don't know if I'm going to be able to run, at least not until I've got quite a bit of this weight off. Um, so I've just been doing uh, yoga with Adrian, and that's really helped in terms of um, being a calming experience as well as strengthening. So um, I just, I really wish that I had been more driven uh, previously to, to take care of it sooner. Um, this is Casey. She she just turned five in April. So I just wanted to um, to just reiterate how precious the time that we have is. And if you have goals that you want to accomplish, um, to to get after it. Just try. And I know it's hard sometimes. Um, there can be lots of things that hold us back, either physically, mentally, emotionally, um, but that it's important just for long-term health sake. Um, the intermittent fasting is still going very well. Uh, in the past week, I was able to lose an additional um, three pounds. So um, I'm now <laughs> down to... <laughs> Uh, 18 pounds lost with intermittent fasting and uh, 48 pounds altogether. So uh, it's getting there. I'm getting there. Uh, I'll just keep going and check in with you guys next week.